Hi, Troy. Hey. We're back. We are. We're back in the studio. Today, we're going to continue our video series where the first video we talked about developing a relationship and talking about goals. I'm the beginning farmer. And Troy is gruff the gruffle conservation professional. You now. almost said fart. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm the gruffle <laughs> fart. Uh, he is the conservation professional. Uh, I'm playing the role of beginning farmer. I'm a decade in. Troy's four decades in, so he wins. And uh, today, or last video, we went for a 10,000 foot view from space from Google Earth, started to develop and define our resource base. And now we're going to dig into the ground, literally, and take a look at what's underneath the farm that everything else is built on. Yeah, cheap and easy. Cheap and easy. We're going to go with four cheap or inexpensive ways to learn more about your soil. soil. Yep. Uh, Which are a, dr a driver of your decision making. Right. So soil, soil quality, all good, good things that you want to know. So without further ado, let's dig in. <laughs> <laughs> So we're at my desk again, you're at your right? Desk where, again. where you're kind of like well, uh, giving give me a, the I get, give this away yet. So Here we go. You're sort of we're we're there talking yeah. about all these things, right? And then I'll uh, the natural progression is to get a little further off Google Earth and now start to look at. So what kind of soil do you have? Especially if I don't know. Yeah. If you're a new customer, and I, might not and I, know. I don't know all the details. Yeah. Because farms have lots of soil types. Yeah. And your production and your decisions, a lot of them are based on soil type. So gotcha. sh you really should know. And it's really easy. It's a lot easier than you think. Um, it's just a matter of where, where do you go and we're going to try to show you okay. some, some of these tools that are I use all the time. So if we're, you use all the time, if we're at your desk virtually or in person, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Where is the first place you go? Web Soil Survey. Web Soil Survey. That's uh, and it's, your uh, friendly um, yeah. NRCS office, uh, USDA. So the, the they make the, a great resource. The link for it, which Paul will put up on the screen right there, uh, is websoilsurvey.sc.egov.usda.gov, or <laughs> which is a typical government website address. If you look for Web Soil Survey, it's always the first result in Google, Bing, whatever you choose to use. <laughs> um, that's the government. That's the government. Yes, yeah, my daughter is <laughs> more brutal than the government. Uh, so we got the web soil survey, and as difficult as the URL is, they made it really easy to get started. It's got a big green button on it. When you hit that button, it brings you to a map of the U.S. This is for U.S.-based citizens on this YouTube channel. Sorry, the international audience. And on the side here, you can put in your address and generate a soil map. Yep easy as that there's a lot of stuff be. there's a lot of stuff here is there that, is is that the best place to start or just yes. get general stuff like if you're yep. as a conservation professional i, I want to start that first types. there's a lot of information and it takes practice to interpret all these things but there is a lot of information it's an encyclopedia you can keep going back to it okay but we're specifically just looking at your soil types what they are and and so we can start to make not make a decision but see where we're at gotcha right so whether you have land or not uh to make it easier for you to follow along and share in my farm on farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash resources again link paul psh, yeah uh i have shared my soil map where i outlined my property and what the soil map does is overlays the different types um here we go right here my property, which is right here, is actually broken up into these different soil types based off of all the things that make soil and geology and stuff that I don't have the vocabulary to describe. <laughs> uh, but what I've done as well is share what the key is to make sense of the map that shows me all these different soil types. Now, when I first did this, none of this makes any makes sense. sense to me. Scarborough muck, nope. delicious. What is that? I don't know. Alden soils means a lot to professionals, 
but it doesn't necessarily mean everything to you and me. But what I've done, what you can deliver and develop this relationship is outlining the property, working on the map and getting it together. And then I can say, Troy, what does this mean? So if you want to interpret, you can do it yourself. You can click on any of these and they will give a large description of what the soil is, what it does, some characteristics, uh, what you wouldn't want to do with it. Yeah. It'll tell you if it's a wetland soil. And th- again, that that um, delineation will tell you what kind of soils do what. Yeah. What they're good for, what they're not good for. You don't want to plow this, you don't want to plow that, or this is a good soil for enhancing a wetland. Okay. It, 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 again, it's it's good to know. Yeah. So if you don't have this, then we have number two. The number two question is one, once we kind of know these soils, yeah. um, I'll be saying, well, where, where are you on the fertility scale? Yeah. You're a new farmer. You got a piece of property. H- how, how do we figure that out? Uh, you're not me asking me. You're the pro. How oh. do I figure out my fertility? <laughs> so there, there's I, a couple I, of different ways. I imagine if I was going to go test my soils. How I about would, the cheap one? I would want to go. cheap way? My, if I was going to see my soils, I would want to go dig in my soils. I think that's a good... Uh, pretty much everybody has a shovel. I would hope so. Right? Yeah. It's, so you, for, for my for my fertility talk is d- dig dig a test pit with your shovel. Yeah. Um, a foot down, turn it over, and then get dirty. Get dirty. Reach into the... Around. Reach in there and s- <laughs> smell it. Um, see, see if it's real ribbony from from clay um see, count count how many worm hole count how many earthworms are in a shovel full of dirt that'll oh, tell you great. actually how how good the soil is right is the life the life in the soil, the soil especially in where you want to farm where well, you want to put the chickens so if i'm if i'm looking for i'm a tactile guy like i have an art degree and i do things that i can fix anything if i can touch it right yeah <clears throat> if i read all these explanations it may not sink in especially if i read all the explanations of all the soils at once fun it's fun to know it's fun it, to it know. might be fun on jeopardy right but i'm not going to have that tactile experience a lot of people get into agriculture very tactile hands on people yeah. digging in the soil saying if i dig here versus here versus here versus here i can Print out this map, take it with me, take a shovel, and just spend a day digging in the soil, smelling, experiencing, so I know on the different parts of the farm, and you know, with my map and my notebook, I might say, all right, in section eight for Mudge Pond and Alden Soils, I write that down and I take notes in my notebook based off my experience. Is it really wet? Is it slimy? Is it dry? Is it sandy? And that's a good way for me to and learn then, about. Then you'd use that information against the narrative that you read. Yeah. So it sort of confirms, right? And so then there's another tool. There's another tool. Yeah. Um, it's a cheap tool. Um, it's sort Are of it's tools? it's it's pretty cheap. Um, it's a soil test. Okay. So and what that what that can do is you're gonna go out and get some soil anyway to play around. Yeah. Um, you can take a probe or a shovel or whatever and collect um some soil from where you want to farm. Generally, where you're gonna put the chick chickens maybe yeah we're collecting and, useful and so what that does is give you a starting point of is your ph low how's your organic matter um for eight bucks it basically gives you a snapshot f- something to start with and so um that's all well and good but let's say that you're not real comfortable interpreting what all this well, data soil, you get soil, back from a soil test even, even now i've done recently soil tests all over the farm in some of it, I'm like, I know what MPK is. You know, I can uh-huh, deal uh-huh. with that. And not all of it makes sense to me, you know, but it is still, I've gathered the information and I have some raw data. Um, and then what do I do with that raw data? So I am I interpret some. I can. It's easy to interpret pH and organic matter pretty, okay. pretty consistently. You don't need a, you know, real college degree or anything like that. But when you get into fertilizers and chemical properties and that, um, I work with a team, nutrient management uh, specialists, certified crop advisors, and other folks within the team that can interpret. Right? If you have a question and I can't answer it, I know where to send you to get the right information. Gotcha. So we're a team of professionals. We want to help. If I can't answer it, I'm going to tell you, hey, I got nothing. But <laughs> right. this this lady, this man, 
um, they can help you. So again, that's sort of a uh, inventory of the soils, what they do, um, how they are gonna be farmed in their capacities and production things, and then your fertility, um, where are you gonna start? You gonna start spending a bunch of money on fertilizer or lime or- Or do you feed uh, chickens or, or you and have feed them chickens everywhere. or roll out hay or you know whatever. Yeah. So that's another key component to this inventory that we can literally do either we can do some from the office. We can sort of take the first cut, and then we can go out and or you can. Yeah. It's your own because we're we're actually it's your plan, it's your creation. We're helping you along the journey. However, we can help. That's the the kind of overarching philosophy that we're hoping to come across with this video series is that Troy works with a team of professionals whose jobs and livelihood and passion is to help people be better conservationists and and more run their financially farms all the th the three things right yeah social we environmental and yeah financial. financial right and so recently i had uh and my uh farm partner david helped me organize this the nrcs come out and do soil samples and helped us sample from around the farm they had little probes and we got to have conversations and mm -hmm. they thought of you know they came up with things obviously that we had never thought of and uh, it'll be fun to, once the ground thaws, because now we're recording this in the winter, to go out. I never did the, like, dig in the soil all over the farm and play with it. You know, I, I planted a lot of things. I've dug holes before, but I've never with the express purpose of just gathering the experience, kids, uh, have done that exercise. So we've got uh, the web soil survey, going out with a shovel and just playing in the dirt sending out a soil test and then using that information, sharing it with the, our new relationship with our professional to help us interpret it so that we can make a plan going forward to have more a, a higher likelihood of knowledgeable success on our farm. Yep. So what's our next step? What would you say we've, man, we, you know, we've been in the office for like an hour and we've done all this. And we've so then talking. Yeah, we're talking. talking, talking, talking. And so, so what, what, what do you think is the next step? I if I if I got a ten thousand foot view and I looked over the farm and I looked at the soil under the farm, now I want to walk around on the farm. Yes. Yes. Shall we go? We shall. Let's go. Okay. Till next I'm time. Going. We're literally out in the field. Did it look like we walked away? I don't know. I was wa walking, then you came along. Well, you look like it anyway. It'll be fun. I was going in the right direction. It's, it's that scary. way is just a wall. <laughs>